Welcome back to Grassroots Media. Welcome back to this week's edition of Sand Meat Packing Kyle Donahue Show, where we cover everything on the hardwood with Chucky Doka Lady Black Knights basketball team. As always, I'm joined here with Lady Black Knights head coach Kyle Donahue. Coach, welcome back. How you doing? Doing well. You? I'm doing well. Breaking into the new year in 2024. How was your Christmas break in New uh, Year's? It was good. It was good. We spent it in um, in Cincinnati. We uh, left. For those of you that don't know, my daughter Tegan um, has a, a blood disease, and we actually were. Uh, seeing her doctors in Cincinnati, and she had her tonsils removed and adenoids, and it was a pretty high-risk procedure with somebody with a bleeding disorder, so yeah. we had to stay there for two weeks. But uh, Santa knew the way to Cincinnati, and, and we got to see a little bit of snow. A lot, oh, so. a lot of bit of snow. It didn't stay, though, so we were excited, but I kind of bummed it didn't stay. I wanted to have a nice white Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it, we had a white Christmas a couple years ago. It was last year or the year before. I can't I think it was the year one. before. And so Tegan thinks every year should be a white Christmas. And <laughs> I hate to tell her, that was probably the first one, first or second one since I've moved here. Um, so, but we had a good time. And, and, you know, the Lord has provided with us a good, a good structure, a good social structure, and a lot of people praying for her. And so we're, we were happy that uh, she had a bleed the first day. Um, but other than that, she didn't have any bleed. So, um, good. You know, it was it was a good time of, of, of being together, but you know, we were ready to get back and you know, we'll give God all the credit, all the glory and, and give our hallelujahs that, that she's doing well and she's back to school. Uh, she loved the first day, second day it was kinda a little harder to get up. Yeah. But same for everybody. But uh, you know, it was a good Christmas. What about yours? It was good. Good. Uh enjoyed some time off, took the week after Christmas off, went and visited some of Lacey's family and came back on New Year's. Watched a lot of football on yeah. New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. You had NFL and college action. I'm assuming you don't want to talk much about we're football. Not, we're not going to talk about it. I don't really want to talk about we're it We're not going to talk about it. It's a meaningless game. It was an exhibition. That's, a, that's what we're going to leave it at. We're both looking forward to next year. <laughs> yes, we are. Let's go to some basketball. Perfect. Though. Had the ladies' classic this past week. Yeah. I know you returned to action in the <laughs> second game mm-hmm. of your series. First game that you ended up playing, threw you into the loser's bracket, um, ended up playing who ended up winning the tournament yeah. in Marist. Take me through the whole tournament experience. I know you faced off against a high-caliber team in Marist, then you got matched up with two county teams, and then after that, your first matchup of 2024 ended up being against North Green. Take me through everything since you've been back Yeah, we've kind of seen North Green in three times in three weeks, and that's, you know, it's three tough to play. in 18 days, I think It's we tough to play a team three times, and it's, it, you know, it's it's one thing. Um the first time we played North Green, we played really well. Um, Haley Hensley, I think, went down in the fourth quarter and, and hurt her elbow, and she's been out uh, since then. She's, we're looking at her coming back hopefully next week. Um, she gets a good report. Uh, missed her down in the post. Obviously, with North Green, they run through the two posts, Bailey and Miller, uh, and they've been playing really well um, as, as seen through the tournament. They played, uh, I guess they beat Oak Ridge, which is, what, 3A, 4A? Uh, and then they beat Boone 4A. Um, so they're they're – a good team and, and nothing to shake a stick at. I would have loved to play them the last two times with, with our full complement of teams, our full complement of team. Uh, I think Haley Taylor also was out there during the uh, Ladies Classic. Um, so we were kind of undersized in the post, um, and they they pretty much put it to us. Um, they got it down to the post, and, and you know, we, we fought and we played hard. Um, the result didn't come out our way, so it, it happens. You know, you get undersized, you get outmatched, and, and things happen. But uh, we played really well. Um, I thought our fight was there. And that's that's like we've talked about before, uh, you and I, and we, we talk about it a lot with our girls. Um, our, our response is everything. How are we going to respond? Um, you know, like we talk about in life, things are not going to go your way. As you've seen, as I've seen, um, there's, there's ups and downs in our life. And, and we want to keep preaching that to our girls because that's a solid uh, life lesson, mm-hmm. and I thought we we came out ready to play against South Green, uh, and it showed. We went up, um, what, 15, 16, 17 points. Uh, we ended up losing that, but um, there's always things we can work on and always things that we can improve upon, and um, I thought we played really, really well against South Green. There was about a four-minute stretch in the fourth quarter, and I think I said this uh, in the paper and, and, and to, to you guys as well, but there was a four-minute stretch, you know, when teams are making a run, we've got to be able to control the ball and cut their run off. And, and I didn't think we did that really well during that time. Um, and that's a learning experience. And, and hopefully we get back in that situation to where we're up and we have to hold a lead 
Um, we talked about it last year. We we hadn't really been to the point where we've had a lead that yeah. we've had to um, kind of milk out. Um, so that's you know every every time we step on the floor, there's something to learn, and and that's unfortunately a tough lesson to learn, and, and you take away an L, but um, it's not a loss if you don't take anything, if you don't take something from it. And I think we we since then have have learned from that, and and if we're in that position again, we'll um, attack it a little bit better. Thing is, it doesn't count towards district standings. True, true. And you get a crack at them before you get into that because we get into January right now. That's when you get into the thick of things. Right. You get 10 district games this year instead of the normal eight with Hampton yeah. coming in. And South Green arguably being the two most important because they've been the back-to-back defending champions. And you get that crack at them in the ladies' classic. How important was that to be able to see them before you play them in district competition. It, it was invaluable to, to kind of get a, a, a read on them. Obviously, they probably think they didn't play their best game, and, and I'd say they probably didn't either. Um, they missed shots that they normally make. And, you know, they're, they're, on their side, they're saying the same thing. There's things we need to work on. and there's, But it's great to see kind of personnel-wise who plays where and, and what their tendencies are. Uh, and like you said, they're, they're the top dog. They're the ones that have not lost in conference. They're the ones everybody's chasing. Um, so to be able to knock them off in the season will be, will be huge. Uh, but we've got to come to work. We can't look too far down the road. We can't, we've got a game Friday that we've got to worry about and, um, you know, the rest will take care of itself. The season will, will be here. South Green week will be here. South Green prep will be here when it comes. Um, but we can't look too far ahead at conference and where we sit and, and who we're playing. We've got to focus on us. And I think this week we've done a really good job with that, um, breaking it back down to the building blocks of, of what we do. Got University High Friday night. Yeah. We'll go ahead and get that in real quick. But we've got to get a commercial break in first, so we'll preview that game against University High. And when they get back into district action against Johnson County next week, next here on Grassroots Media. Sand Meat Market, your ultimate meat destination. Step into Sand Meat Market for a curated selection of steaks, lamb, goat, and other quality foods. Each cut is meticulously crafted to exceed your expectations, promising a dining experience like no other. Elevate your dining experience and visit Sand Meat Market today. Indulge in the exceptional quality and taste that only Sand Meat Market can provide. Join us on this culinary journey and savor the difference. Tommy's Plumbing has provided professional plumbing services to the residents of Greenville, Tennessee for over 30 years. Our experience and reputation have helped us grow our business to add locations in Jonesboro, Tennessee. Tommy's Plumbing is local and family owned and we offer a full line of plumbing services such as kitchen faucet, shower faucets, commodes and bathroom faucets as well as drain cleaning. We also provide outside plumbing work such as septic and sewer drain cleanouts as well as repair and replace. Tommy's Plumbing pretty much does it all. Tommy's Plumbing is licensed, bonded and insured. Our quality workmanship and passion to provide our clients with expert service is second to none. We guarantee we have the best warranty around. For all your plumbing needs, give Tommy's a call at 638-3662. Welcome back to Grassroots Media. Welcome back to this week's edition of the Sand Meat Packing Kyle Donahue Show, where we cover everything on the hardwood with the Chucky Doak Lady Black Knights basketball team. As always, I'm here with head coach Kyle Donahue. So you go on the road tomorrow night. Is that tomorrow? Yeah, yep. tomorrow night, I guess tonight. As hey, this is airing. All right. To play University Welcome High. Welcome to Friday, everybody. <laughs> yes. You go into Brooks Gym playing the, I guess, Lady Bucks. Lady Bucks. So talk to me about what you expect in that game, kind of get back into the rhythm of things <laughs> going into 2024. Got one game under your belt against North Green. Take another one against University High. What do you expect? Yeah, so we, I talked about it earlier. Against North Green, I felt like we were kind of out of sync, a little discombobulated. Um, you know, losing is frustrating. When you lose multiple games in a row, it's frustrating. But our response has got to be, Every game we've got to respond. How are we going to – and that's the challenge to the girls. How are we going to respond? And, and that's been the challenge of the week at practice. How are we going to respond? So, we've, like I said earlier, we've broken it down. And we've got back to um, who we are. And we're a defensive team. We've got to be defensive-oriented. Um, we're not good enough to go out and just outscore people. Um, so we've got to be able to get to the point where we can stop people and, and make them shoot the shots we want, get the rebound, and, and play our offense. Um, so we've we've had a good week of practice so far. Um, 
I thought our intensity, we've cranked up the intensity a lot, and, and our girls have responded well. So we're ready. We're excited to see what happens tonight at, at UH, and, and you know, hopefully we come out with a W. And, and But more importantly, I, you know, wins and losses are, are variable. They depend on all kinds of things. What I really want to see is, is us respond uh, well um, in every facet of our game, uh, whether that be defense, offense, transition game. Uh, I want to see how we how we respond this week. Um, you know, I think Coach Hazelwood has done a good job uh, at at uh, UH. He's uh, recently moved over from um, Hampton. Hampton. Yeah, yeah, I think Hampton. he took over. He told me he took over after spring and after summer. So it's it's been kind of a struggle for him. And and he's got a girl that uh, his best athlete's probably going to come back soon from uh, an ACL from last year. So he's excited about that. But you know. I, this week, our focus has really been about us. What are we going to do? How are we going to respond? How are we going to come out? And, and I'm pretty proud of our, our response so far. You go into Monday mm -hmm. after the weekend's over, and you go right into district competition. Yeah. It becomes a little more important once next right. week rolls around because Tuesday night you get Johnson County. You get them here at home. We won't talk about it too much yet, but then later on in the week you get West Green. We did talk a little bit at the beginning about how you have 10 games now with Hampton moving in, and I guess each game you can kind of avoid to slip up in one or two now that you've got those extra two, but it's important to win those home games. We always talk about that. You've got Johnson County coming up. You're sitting at, I believe, 1-1 one one right now with a win over Happy Valley and a loss to Hampton. How important is that game Tuesday night against Johnson County? Uh, it, it's vital because it's the next one. It's yep. the next conference game, and, and conference games are, are very important. Um, you know, you talked about slipping up. In my mind, you can't really slip up. You've yeah. got South Green that you're chasing. Um, you know, we're behind the eight ball with the one loss, uh, and we're also chasing Hampton because they beat us, so they've got the tiebreaker on that so far. Um, so it's it's imperative that we win, like we've always talked about. You got to win our home games. Um, you know, it's felt like forever since we played at home uh, with this Christmas break. Um, since I played at home, our, you know, our girls played against North Green. Um, but it's 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 important that we come out with the appropriate aggression, appropriate um, we we call it havoc. Um, but we need to respond well um, in front of our fans. We need to come out ready to play. And, you know, it's it's important because it's a conference game, but it's also our next chance to improve and, and play better as a group. Uh, you know, you only get so many. Um, we talked to the seniors yesterday about there's only so much time between now and the end of the year, and they all matter, and they're all valuable. Um, so it's, it's important for us to come out and play well, um, but it's more important for us to come out and play with, with passion. It feels like a long season, but it also doesn't feel like a long season. Yeah, we're season. close. Yeah. Once, once you hit Christmas, it it flies. The calendar flips, and you've got a couple weeks. I don't know exactly how many. I've not even flipped my own calendar. Um, but it's it'll be here before you know it, and we'll, we'll be talking tournament. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, what, for us, um, you've got South Green, you've got Hampton. You kind of want to try and avoid playing both in the tournament. Yeah. Um, you know, it, you know if, if they play each other, if, if – you know, whoever finishes first, um, somebody's got to play Hampton and then South Green, um, and and we want to try to avoid that at all costs. You know, it's as set yourself up for a good tournament, you would avoid both of them. Yeah. So that's that's kind of our mindset um, long term. But again, we're not thinking down the road. We've got to kind of win what's in front of us and, and play every day, and not even play every game. Play every day as if it's our last day, because you never know. I mean, look at. Haley Hensley, she's been out a couple weeks and she's uh, dying to get back and itching to get back and and you know it's something that a lot of people take for granted. Yeah. There's a lot of things that we take for granted in life. Um, you know, you're not good Lord's not guaranteeing us another day, so we've got to take today as it is. And and same thing with basketball, we got to take today and, and give everything we got and, and hopefully we get to strap it up tomorrow. As uh, my old English teacher at South Green used to say, Miss Linda Humphreys, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. Um, we'll be back tomorrow and, and be able to crank another one out. Um, or as you're watching this on Monday. Or Friday, <laughs> whenever you're watching this. Whenever this comes out. <laughs> it, comes comes out, out. it comes out Friday, but okay. you might not watch it until Monday. You might not watch it until Tuesday. Who knows? Hopefully you watch it, though. Hopefully you watch it on Fr support Friday our, after the game. Support, no, by the way, yeah. support our sponsor, Sand Meat Packing. It was uh, uh, Saps Ferry Packing for a long time. Sutherland family owned it. 
Uh, they recently sold it to uh, some good buyers, and I think they've done a lot of good things, and they've got a lot of things planned ahead. So check them out uh, for all your meat needs. Um, I think I need to get in there and get some steak. There's nothing better than a good steak in winter. You know, you have to earn it. You have to stand outside and, and, and work for it, but there's nothing. You know, you get that thing inside, get a nice baked potato. Um, so check them out, Sand Meat Packing. Or uh, Sand... Yep, Sand Meat Packing. Okay, Great. Sand Meat Packing. All right. I knew I was right. There we go. Awesome. How many days will it have been since the last time you played at home? Was that North Green game the 15th? It was the 18th. The 18th. So, however many days, whatever that is. 18, There's 31. 30, Let's see your math, Tyler. I'll sit here and smile. When's your next home game? The 9th? Is that 22 days? Three weeks? I guess. Wow. Yeah, that's a long time not to Seems like it's been home. forever. Well, three weeks is a long yeah. time during the season. That's true. It will feel like forever. Yep. I think that's all we've got this week. You sure you don't want to talk about football? I do not want to talk about football. Okay. Florida State will be back. That's all i got to say. Is that all the basketball we've got? Yeah, it is. All right, Coach. That's appreciate all we've got. Once again, appreciate you letting me in. Thank you all for watching this week's edition of the Sand Meat Pack and Kyle Donahue Show. We look forward to seeing you all next week here on Grassroots Media. Hey, go Black Knights. <laughs>